Ah, you're back. Make sure you close up. so late. This is Maruki, by the way. I'm actually rather close by. Would you mind lending me an ear? There's something important we need to talk about. And if you do intend to confront me, I believe there's something you have to give me first. Thank you. I'll be at the cafe shortly. See you later. I caught all of that. Just as we suspected, he knew he'd have to get a calling card. I have no clue how this meeting is going to go down. Hey, uh... Just make sure you keep your guard up, okay? Sorry for the last-minute visit. How's Yoshizawa-san holding up? I've been concerned about a potential relapse, considering her difficulties with accepting this reality. I see. No, that's great news. So, getting down to business. I wanted to confirm with you one last time. Is there no other way to come to an agreement besides fighting? The reality I created may seem distorted from your point of view, but it's a reality where everyone is happy. If you just stay, you'll never have to suffer the pain of loss, or the pain from having people and things stolen away from you. <sighs> so, you saw what happened with Rumi. I'm not the one who suffered. She is. But she's still living a wonderful life right now, in this world you call a distorted reality. But she still doesn't remember you, right? And you're fine with that? She may not be in my life anymore, but at least her own life is a happy one now. I'm not just doing this for Rumi. I want all of you to live just as happily as she is. But for Rumi's happiness to last, I have to move on. After all that's happened to her, to me, I just can't drag her into it. Doc. My stance will not change. Strange circumstances have led to my gaining this power. However, I now recognize it as being wholly inevitable. This is something only I am capable of doing. I promise, every person alive will be happy in the world I create. So, let me ask you the same. After really considering every option, do you have any doubts about your views? I suppose it's more accurate to ask, do you two gentlemen have any doubts? You're here, aren't you, Akechi-kun? Akechi! You caught me. Oh, it was just a hunch. This issue doesn't only affect you, Akechi-kun. This involves you, too. <sighs> what do these two have to do with... The relationship you two share is very unusual. A detective and a phantom thief. Despite being enemies, your relationship isn't based on hatred or ill will. That's why I found it so tragic when I learned what happened in Shido's palace. You bastard! So, 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 my final enemy is a puppet version of myself. I... 
say. Didn't you regret how things ended with him? You two came to a deep understanding of one another. Yet you had no choice but to leave Akechikun to his fate. That's why I created a reality where you two could have a fresh start together. <laughs> After all After this, all that's, that's what you have, you have to have say. To say. Seriously, seriously, you really are. That would mean the Akechi in the real world is... Get what I'm saying? I genuinely didn't want to tell you like this. I didn't want to make it seem like I'm holding him hostage. But no matter what you may think of me, I just want you all to accept this reality and move on with your happy lives. And that matters how, exactly? Don't tell me you think dangling my life before us is going to have any impact on our decision. Well, I lacked conclusive evidence, but after I fought against you all, I had a gap in my memory that ended with meeting up with him again. There were also the cases of Wakaba Ishiki and President Okumura. Of course, I'd find all of that suspicious. I see. I had a feeling the truth of the matter still wouldn't dissuade you, Akechikun. But how about you? You think dangling my life before us is going to affect our decision? That's what Akechi-kun said a moment ago. If that's how you see it at this point, I'm fine with it. But I'm still going to ask you, one last time, will you accept the reality I create for you? You were the guiding light to my research. You showed me the way so I could make my dream into reality. I have nothing but gratitude for you. Not a single ounce of ill will. That's why I wanted you, of all people, to understand. Perhaps I shouldn't ask you for an answer on the spot like that. I'll be going now. Ah, that's right. I've heard your calling. And about my question, let's do this. I'll be waiting in the palace tomorrow, just as I promised. If you still haven't changed your mind by then, we'll meet there. But if you don't show, I'll take that to mean you've accepted my reality. See you. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I'd like to speak with him. Akechi. Gotcha. I'll leave the decision up to you. Let me know when you've reached an answer. I will carve my own path for myself. I refuse to accept a reality concocted by someone else, stuck under their control for the rest of my days. Why wouldn't I be? Don't ask such stupid questions after all this time. All you have to do is stick to your guns and challenge Maruki. Or are you really so spineless that you'd fold over some bullshit trivial threat on my life? It is. Do you think I'd be happy with this? Being shown mercy now, of all times. I don't want to be pitied. This isn't something I'm debating with you. Your indecisiveness on the matter is essentially a betrayal of my wishes. I want to hear you say it aloud. What do you intend to do? I won't wait a moment longer. Answer me. All right. I'm relieved to hear it. I will never accept this form of reality. I'm done being manipulated. Let's go back to our true reality. This is great. I 
feel so alive. I'll sow chaos as far as the eye can see. All right. What's a life worth in a reality that was cooked up just to satisfy someone else? I say none. We have to win this. No matter what, 